Oh, it's still there. <laughs> I believe that's what you said. Just that's now. That's what I said. Yes. I'm so disappointed. She says. Because it's so big, and there's a car. No, it's definitely a ram. A big old giant ram. It's a, it's a big old giant ram. It no. certainly is. That's the one. It has been confirmed, you two. Mr. Dodge Ram has got to go. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay. <laughs> I'm going to walk around this jewel. I don't know that your front wheels are even on the ground. Picking that thing up. It's only a 1500, but it's... Extended cab. Oh, got my license plate cover on there, so Kendra doesn't have to edit too much. There's a ding. There and there. dark. Ooh, those are nice. Where'd you get those? They sent them to me. Who? Who's they? My friends from Canada. Your friends from Canada? Sent you gloves? That's awesome. leaving with that Dodge Ram and just in case you didn't hear that on video the camera was there beside the truck as we were hooking up the folks in the black car in front of where the Dodge was parked uh, came out and said the hotel told us to come back out and move our car that we couldn't park it here so if you didn't hear that I'm here to confirm yes indeed that is what they said told them they couldn't park there not sure certain people decide to not see the sign and um, I don't know but they are telling people just putting that out there to not park there they're telling people to move their car if they're parked over there yes not park over there the hotel is absolutely okay just wanted to clarify clarification <laughs> clarification engaged everything auto uh, yes, sir. My truck just got towed, and we were never informed that we could not park there. I have a handicapped sister, and I have to have my truck. Okay. Um, so someone needs to bring it back because this is the hotel's fault. He never told me not to park there, and that is not fair. Um, okay. Um, there's. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, uh, they, they called us 
Lot security called us for removal because it's not part of the hotel's uh, parking lot. And, and we uh, did not know that. He did not tell us that. Well, ma'am, there's there's signs there that, um, and they're numbered spots. I, I need my truck. My sister is handicapped. Okay, no problem. As long as you're the registered owner, ID matches the registration of the truck, I can release it back to you. Um, the cost is... No. Somebody better bring me my truck now. Or I'm calling the police. We were never told not to park there. Okay, man. It sounds like you need to call the police department then. I want my truck! Well, ma'am, I'll be glad to give it back to you if you want to pay the fees and... I'm not paying dollars. Well, then, ma'am, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. The sign is about 8 to 10 on a pole that's Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Um... It's 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. Like I said, as long as you're the registered owner and cash to the registered owner. How do I get my truck? Um, like I said, ma'am, it's 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. I have no, but I'm not, I don't live here. Well, ma'am, it's, um, you just have to GPS it, I guess. I don't. I do not live here. I don't have another vehicle here. Okay, ma'am, I understand that. Uh, uh, you'd have to get a cab or an Uber or a Lyft. I'm not getting a cab. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess the. I don't know what else to say. There's nothing more to say here. I guess. Have a good night. No, do not hang up on me. I've got to have my truck. Okay. Well, I told you the steps to go through to get your truck back, ma'am. If, uh, if you want to come and get it, it's 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. And like I said, cash. Write this down, Pam. I'm not paying in cash. I'm, I'll use a debit card. No, ma'am. I'm sorry. Can't get your truck. Hello? I'm here. Ma'am, if you're going to yell at me, then this conversation is going to be over really quick. I've, I've been very... No, it isn't because you have my truck. Listen, I have been kind and I have not raised my voice and I am not going to put up with you yelling at me. Did you write it down? What's the address? For the last time, 221 Newman Road, Gatlinburg. Newman Road, 221 Newman Road, Gatlinburg. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. If it, if you don't have the cash, then you're not getting the vehicle. We do not do cars. Don't tell me. I understand what you've told me, okay? Okay. I'm just making sure that's clear because you've asked me several times. Yes, I have because I'm very upset. Okay. And I completely understand that. You have every right to be upset. Bye. Whew. Temperature's rising. And everything auto... Uh, yes, sir. Um, we are. We will be there soon. We've got to get an Uber. So, um, will you guys still be there uh, for my truck? Uh, we've got to have it. We have no way to get home, and I have my my sister is Down syndrome. Gotcha. So we have to have my truck. <laughs> I understand. We uh we normally don't do pickups after five o'clock. So I'm trying my best to help you here. Please, please, we've got to have my truck. <laughs> Okay. Do you know when you're coming? We're trying to find an Uber and I've got to find an ATM. Okay. Do you have any idea? Have you heard from any of them? Sir, so we're trying to find an ATM first. Oh, oh okay. Um, just, uh, just give me a call and uh, let me know that you're coming. Give me about a 30-minute heads up and I can make sure I've got somebody here at the gate. Well, then, yes, I'm telling you we're coming. We'll be there within 30 minutes. Okay. All right. We'll be here for about 30 minutes or so. Thank you. Hey. How, sir? How are you? Good, good. 
You are the registered owner? Yes, me and my husband. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, as long as your ID matches the registration in the vehicle, I'll go ahead and get it up here for you. You got the keys? I do, but now, I mean, I guess if I'm on the registration. I mean, okay. I'm on the insurance, so. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I would just need to make sure we're giving it back to the rightful owner. The, the people that were parked right in front of you, the hotel told them not to park there, so I'm not sure what the mix-up was. Well, like I said, I, if he told me that, I didn't hear him. Gotcha. I mean, there was a whole lot of people behind us and in front of us, so. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. But Listen, if you've got I, the I keys, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get the vehicle up here for you. I'll pull it right up here, just a sec. Uh, I'll just need to make sure it matches the registration, yeah. Uh, but I'll get that just a second. Oh, there we go. We'll get you this receipt. I don't worry about it. Oh, no, we want to make sure you've got a receipt for sure. And listen, I know it's not your fault, but it's just been... Oh, no, I completely understand, dear. No, I, I, I can't imagine you'd be happy with me if I towed your car. That's, that's not... Uh... Yeah, I've never had anything like that. Yeah, it's uh, just those numbered spots over there are for employees, and then when they come in, there's no place for them to park, and it makes for a bad situation. And, and I understand they needed to tell you that, but um, it's very confusing over there. It really is. Yeah, no, it, I, and I completely understand. Um, the hotel should direct you uh, where you can and can't park, and, and uh, I'm sorry this happened to you, and... Uh, but yeah. But I'll it's... tell you why it won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so Thank you for bringing her over. We appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much for you're that. You're welcome. <laughs> Be safe, okay? I know you're upset, but I don't oh, want you driving out there. <laughs> I going... feel better now that I got my, my husband's truck back. <laughs> if you don't have a place to park over there, they well, have an me, overflow he lot. He told me to come in and he'd tell me where. I just right? make them. Make them come out there and direct well, you to it. Well, I've got the number to the actual owner of okay. the hotel, so I'm going to call him. Yeah. Like I said, their overflow lot doesn't do a lot of folks a lot of good because it's like two blocks away and then you're you're I carrying don't care, luggage. But see, I don't care to park. Yeah, where it's I'm supposed to. Yeah, it's, no, it's it's just confusing. It is. But it uh, is. you be safe, okay? Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. If you followed us any at all on the four-door Dodge Ram that we towed that was illegally parked in the church parking lot, you guys will see the video and the lead up to what I'm about to try and, and get through here. Again, uh, I understand folks are mad. They're upset that they had their vehicle towed and they have every right to be upset. And I explained that to the lady. But when they go overboard, kind of like if you guys follow the channel, You'll know exactly who I'm talking about, the Dodge Charger lady or any of the multiple others that's decided to uh, leave one star reviews on our channel or on our business page. So guys, and it does hurt. It hurts me. It really does. I, I've tried my best. This is our new Gatlinburg location, uh, so we don't have a whole lot of reviews for the folks coming into town. Don't have a whole lot of... Uh, reviews on there for folks to reflect on so when we get a bad one on the on the low count it does it hurts and it is not true guys so you know she's she's went overboard so she's contacted uh the property owner from where she was illegally parked and explained to them that i was extremely rude to her uh, she was a female i was taking advantage of her um, gave that property owner a whole mess of misinformation. Um, so she contacted the church and uh, told those folks that uh, I was a bad person, which everybody that we deal with over there knows that that's just not true. So she's trying to spread lies there. She uh, contacted the police department, told them that I was very disrespectful and taking advantage of female and spread the lies through the police department. Even was so hysterical and upset that she had to have a police car come and get her and bring her to the lot so you guys have seen that or will see that in the video and then gets on our business page and bashes us on our business page uh, so i just wanted to get that out there guys that's the situation here that's what that's the grief that she has caused me um just in the past 24 hours so enjoy the video i hope you guys enjoy the video it is um it's something to say the least. I, I don't know what else to say about the old video, but enjoy that guys. I hope you do. And hopefully those 
who get on our business page. Uh, we're going to post the video link in that so that uh, we can decipher who's taking advantage of who there, I guess. But on a lighter note, guys, um, Brittany Harrell has been so kind and generous enough to send us some more tow trucks to hand out to the kitties. Um, so, Brittany, thank you so much. Uh, Zips, I think you sent. You guys know what these are all about. So super cool. We're going to get those out. Uh, getting closer to the holidays. I think we're going to have some more kids in town. So we can uh, we can accommodate that. And she's also sent two more big bags of the Dum Dums. Uh, I did have a comment on the, the Tootsie Pops. Some people might be allergic to Tootsie Pops. So somebody else reached out, me and, reached out and said Dum Dums uh, were also a good thing for the non-allergic or the allergic people. So anyway, Brittany, thank you so much for sending that stuff. That will come in very much so handy. We will get that stuff inventoried and get some more supplies on the tow trucks. And that should be really cool for for those. Uh, we've even grown-ups love them too. So, you know, we get, <laughs> we, get, uh, we get the Tootsie Pops and the Dum Dums handed out to the grown-ups and vice versa on the kids. So they love it. We appreciate you guys tagging along with us. Um, drop a comment down below. We love hearing from you guys, especially on these heated situations like this. Uh, I very much so enjoy the comments that come in on on these situations. So uh, smash that like button, notification button, comment down below. We love hearing from you. Stay tuned. Got more crazy stuff coming. What are you doing up there? Why not you, man? <laughs> I'll hop out.
takes care of the burning question of uh, I'm subscribed to your channel would you tow me well I mean I guess I didn't know he was subscribed to the channel and and technically I didn't tow his uh, his mom followed him back here because he said it would he found a place to park <laughs> but kind of funny guys uh, so yeah 
Short answer, um, I'm probably going to tell you, especially if I don't know. But yeah, just watch the channel. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help uh, spread the word on, on where to park. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're out of here. Really crazy parking lot. Thank you, guys. She's mad. She's not saying thank you. She was uh, hung up on the the guys over here making fun. Oh. Just look at them. They're up there making fun of me. And Should we wait? Ah. Uh, well, you know, like we said the last time, I, they were very nice, and they didn't say. I don't. I don't think they're up there anymore. I think they went in. Yeah, they went in. They were up on the balcony, sitting on the mash container, but. Well, I feel bad now. <laughs> I. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Drop a comment down below, guys. <laughs> I am trying. Uh, I mean, the channel's growing every day, and I appreciate each and every one of our subscribers and our followers. Uh, you know, I, I am. I'm getting the word out there about Gatlinburg, so you can't say I'm not trying. But uh, <laughs> we we ran across one right there. That uh, oh, I feel so bad. If if he was watching, I guess maybe he just thought that. To be fair, on on our channel, it really is kind of hard to tell what the location we're towing from is. The you know we're we're in a very tight parking lot, and and uh, I guess all of these parking lots would essentially look the same um, if I was filming from the inside. So, guys, just if I had advice to give, would be look at the signs. Or if you're in Gatlinburg, pay to park. Those are your those are your only two options, guys. Just pay attention to these signs. Gatlinburg's small, and I've explained it. It's it's a tight squeeze. It takes a tremendous amount of employees to make this happen over here. Those employees have to have a place to park. Um, if you're in those spots, they can't come to work. They can't serve you. They can't make any money. Uh, so that's why we're here. And they call us. We don't come over here circling around to satisfy those people that want to say I'm a scam and I'm a shark. And that's not what I'm all about, guys. I, they call me. They call me to help out, and that's what we do. We come to help out. So, anyways, we're over here in Gatlinburg. Jeep invasion is in full swing. It's Friday. Uh, Pitch and Forge is completely covered up. There's there's absolutely nothing over there that. Uh, that you can get into they uh, if you watched our video i'm not sure if it's going to air before or after this one but they blocked the turn lanes off and blocked the parking lots and people are still coming in and around those bar those parking barricades and causing a, a ruckus over there too triple parking in the island people not uh being able to leave and things like that so it's a crazy time it's a busy time if you're here, be safe, have fun. If you need us, we're always here to help. Stick around, we've got more to come. Okay guys, I could not, not share this with you. This is really cool. Uh, I guess it loads from the back. Uh, <laughs> that's just a really cool thing. I don't know if, it, if ramps connect to it or if it's motorized. It looks stationary. So I guess I'm not real sure how it gets up there. Oh, I see ramps. I see ramps on the uh, underside of it. So it he just ramps it all the way up through there. That's really tall. Um, don't hit any bridges or overpasses. But yeah, those ramps must come down past his bed. I bet his tailgate drops and the center of it supports and he just drives up there. That's got to be cool to watch. Okay guys, got a cool package in that I wanted to share with you. Wow, Brian Allen, Brian Allen from Canada has sent us some gloves. Uh, Brian, we can't thank you enough. We go through gloves. I would say like we change our underwear, but sometimes I don't change my underwear. <laughs> but no guys, we uh, these are really cool, Brian. I know uh, we're trying to be visible out there and we're looking for a glove that's gonna hold up to winch cables. And Brian, my wife is going to be very happy as well because she was just talking about uh, gloves getting worn down. We're going to have to order another supply, but you're going to be able to see that. So when she's uh, she's out flagging, waving traffic, and uh, it's got a nice coating on there so we can get some things picked up. So thank you, Brian. I will pass these out. 
and uh, I'm sure my brother-in-law over at Nate's Towing would would appreciate a pair of those as well. So those will get to good use, put to good use. Thank you, Brian, and uh, see you guys on the next one.